All right, guys, we're back here. We've got, uh, looks like we're going to probably have three attacks in. And hopefully we can get uh, nodes 11, 12, and 13 done. So we'll try for node 11 right now. Um, this one is pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to go on the left side. Right side is actually quite a bit more uh, difficult to deal with uh, for symbiotes, I've noticed. And uh, if you're using them, um, just be wary that the left side, from my opinion, seems to be easier for them. Uh, last, uh, the last attack, we did lose our Phoenix and Colossus, unfortunately, but in the upside, uh, our Anti-Venom, uh, did survive. Uh, we did have one attempt there, and they basically just one-shot at him. So, unfortunately, Daredevil just seems to have it out for him, and, uh, yeah, you just gotta take it off. I've also used Ebony Ma and, uh, and Invisible Woman as well to kind of give more cushion, but, uh, they always seem to find a way to kill him. I don't know why, they just... The AI, maybe it's the programming, but unfortunately, uh, it is what it is. So anyways, uh, we got a Drax problem again, double Drax problem. So we're going to target him on the far left because uh, that way we can chain off to some guys on the left side. We're going to throw the stun for the slow, and that way we can get some combos going on and some chains. Uh, rip off the taunts. Great stuff. Now we just got to worry about the right side. And uh, we'll throw Venom at uh, that Drax. And now we've got a clear way to get to uh, uh, Doctor Strange. So that's what we'll do. It's got the uh, vulnerability there. So we're going to take advantage of that. And hopefully that gives us a speed up. So we'll hit again. And yeah, this one, this one's pretty straightforward, actually. I think, I think, yeah, you just have to make sure you can get rid of the taunts. And I think that's the, that's the biggest problem. And uh, they do drop another Drax there, which is fine. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, we just have to be patient, and uh, we'll just throw the buffs there. Uh, we just got to be patient, get through there, and then we can focus on Carnage. Uh, we leave Carnage and Symbiol alone. Um, they're gonna, they're gonna burn us. They're gonna burn us. So we're gonna make sure we ability block him, and that way uh, he can only spread debuffs, and that's the biggest thing that he can do to us. And uh, yeah, you know what? Why not? We'll get some buffs here for everybody. Why not? And from that point on, we can do the speed reduction. And I mean, yeah, really, you could just you can hit you can smash the auto. It's pretty story forward at this point in time. Uh, I think you just got to be patient. And uh, yeah, yeah, particularly getting through the Draxes is the biggest problem with the left side. If you go on the right side, you run into the problem with Magneto and Nick Fury. And uh, you know, there's also a shield. Uh, sorry, there's also a mercenary guard in that wave as well. And I particularly I can two shot that side but uh, I found that one shotting the left side is usually the better route to go and usually if I go the left side then my uh, my alliance mates uh, they'll usually diverge off and go on to the right side for me so thank you for that uh, if you guys are watching this appreciate you guys always uh, accommodating uh, my path um, anyhow so we got about nine enemies left uh, everybody's bleeding to death pretty much so you know at this point in time we're fine we're in good shape we're getting ourselves ready for no 12 and uh yeah we can we can clear out uh we can clear out the extra drax and now they do drop another carnage and a doctor strange so it's up to you guys if you uh think doctor strange is going to be a point of problem you can go for him if he revives but we're going to ability to block carnage and we're going to stay the course we're going to we're going to keep going at what we're good at which is um uh taking care of carnage no carnage uh no speed up and then that gives us a uh, uh, obviously uh gives us the advantage yeah, well, you know what? We can get some buffs every everybody. Everybody deserves that. Get some evasions and speeds up there. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's just absolutely overpowered once we get the uh, the evasions going. Gives everybody like an extra life. Uh, especially if we're up against uh, Punisher, Daredevil, or uh, Iron Fist, or somebody that can one KO us. So that's really nice. And at this point, um, with three guys left, uh, you can just smash that, uh, smash that single target DPS over and over because uh, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, Drax is stunned, Cable's near dead, and yeah, once we get uh, once we get this other Cable near death, we'll get that extra speed, and they won't even really get a turn uh, while we finish this party up. So there you guys have it. Boom. And that's all she wrote. Okay. And we got a minute and 25 for change, so that's pretty nice. So there you guys have it. Uh, I think uh, pretty solid, pretty solid effort there. If I do say so myself. All right, so that was eleven. Now we can go for node twelve, uh, which is also going to be pretty difficult as well. Um, 
it's uh, because we're dealing with a couple of daredevils and uh, we got the hand sentry there as well so we want to make sure uh, we can take them out just to recap uh, we did have to use the phoenix earlier so sometimes I like to use a refresh here um, unfortunately we're not making a push right now for uh, for the maximum 100% uh, so we're just gonna go in here and hope for the best I think if we um, if you want to start out here, you want to initially uh, stun off the hand sentry, so that way you have time to uh, to get uh, you know get the buffs going on, get the debuffs roaming around as well, and then that way uh, we can uh, focus off uh, Daredevil afterwards. So there you guys have it there, and um, and yeah, that's uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I think with this one, I'll just try to show you guys what happens if um, if we leave. Uh, uh, daredevil alone so we'll go after um we'll spread some debuffs there and then we'll go after the um the hand units just to show you guys off and i mean i think we're we're in pretty good shape right now uh, but uh i'll just uh show you guys what happens if um and who knows we actually be okay but uh it's just an example uh, so you guys can see here uh, what exactly happens when you leave uh daredevil last so there we have him last um, another one drops so that's kind of um, you know that's kind of sometimes the problem so we can spread the uh, we can spread these debuffs out to those guys so actually we're doing actually we're not doing that bad I thought uh, for some reason I I was hoping these guys would uh, I, ch I was trying to show you guys what happens if you leave them alone but uh, I think right now we're in pretty good shape so that's yeah, uh, actually working better than I planned um, yeah I guess that was a, kind of a bad uh, bad uh, example there um, but the, normally uh, when you leave them alone they actually go pretty nuts and they start chaining and hitting everything and now our problem is is we focused on um, daredevil so much that now we've actually left the green goblins and the uh, the venoms alone so we'll see if we can still get this done uh, we're I think we're still in okay shape but uh, um, yeah they do a lot of damage with the ults um, as you guys saw there so we'll see what we can, we can do revive there see what that, that, that brings us uh yeah we might still be able to do this um losing symbol is pretty big though since he does bring a lot of that regen and the lifesteal and uh yeah it's looking like uh this is we're gonna cancel out here i think um it's looking pretty uh, uh so we're gonna try this again here uh we'll do a refresh and uh, uh this time i think what we'll do is we'll kind of allocate and uh focus on uh daredevil and on um on uh venom and green goblin as well here just to show you guys but yeah that was uh there's just no there's uh yeah there's no really point in and uh going for the hand units uh that's that was my main example i was trying to show you guys but uh unfortunately we actually just got clobbered by the other side so sometimes rng um isn't on your side and uh, sometimes it just ends up uh, being that way so just keep that in mind so we'll try this one again here and uh, yeah we'll do the same combo go cool. right off for the hand unit there and pretty much the same sort of format we're gonna be uh, focusing uh, on him mainly get this buff spreading out there as you guys see and uh, yeah, I mean, um, just trying to get the buffs going and trying to spread everything apart. So that's the good stuff there. And then yeah, we can uh, start spreading off some uh, some conditions off to um, to Queen Goblin as well. And then we can focus on uh, Daredevil now. And I think the important thing is getting that offense down as well on a lot of the targets. Uh, Scream's uh, special is really handy in uh, lowering that DPS for those targets. So now the next wave is going to drop after uh, that one. So now that's pretty good. We'll start uh, spreading some conditions there. We'll focus on Daredevil there. And remember this time we actually have to watch out for the, uh, the Green Goblin as well here. So we'll just keep that in mind. So bring the offense down. Spread those off. So far, so good. Yeah, we'll throw the stun on Green Goblin this time. Just to make sure. Um, just make sure we're not going to get pounced by his alt again. Because that was actually what took out uh, Symbiote. Spidey. 
Okay, we'll get some more bleeds going on there. Spread those. And we're, we're in pretty good shape right now. Uh, everybody's got a ton of buffs on there. So, or, uh, sorry, excuse me, debuffs. So that helps us out quite a bit there. Alright. And now, yeah, now we can kind of focus that off there. And uh, so far, so good. We're in good shape. And of course, they drop a, um, they do drop another sentry and uh, double D. So just do keep that in mind. We'll try to spread those off, and uh, if we can, uh, we'll spread those conditions off. Unfortunately, we did lose AV, which um, does suck, but uh, doesn't change the fact that uh, we don't actually necessarily need him to complete the rest of this node. Um, he's gotten us through a good chunk of it, and now we just got to carry through and uh, follow through and finish this one up. All right, and like I said already, um, just yeah, just really focusing on spreading those debuffs off to uh, those high offensive units. We're gonna we're actually gonna stun Venom there because everybody else is pretty low. And at this point in time, I mean, we could probably just smash the auto, uh, but we will um, get ourselves recharged for the next and final node. I think we've got enough time left on the t timer for one more attack before. Uh, before this raid's over so that's kind of nice for us there and yeah nice we took them out now we can look after the uh, stealth units there and we should have plenty of time here to finish off these guys get the chain attacks in and so far so good last one's the hand unit and you guys you guys can save the hand units for last as well um, I, sh I probably should have timed my attacks better so I wasn't spreading it off to everybody like that, but it's just kind of the placement where the uh, hand sentry was located. So we got about three hours and a half left, so we should have enough. Um, we should have enough for one more hit, but uh, there you guys have it there. Uh, that's node 11, and uh, that was two attacks on the 12, but nonetheless, pretty good still. Alright guys, we will catch you in the last part.